first we're going to add an item with the barcode you're going to click on edit items and you're going to click on new then you're going to auto generate the code and enter the name of the product so now if your product is in kgs or liters you're going to specify the kgs in the liters the barcode we're going to add last because if you scan it it's going to save so we're going to change the state available is for back office use frequently used is for front office use and discontinued is if the item is no longer in use so we're going to choose frequently used and then we're going to go to basic measurement this is where you're going to choose if the item is in liters or in kgs then we're gonna go to price and you're gonna add a retail price for the, the price that you are selling the item in and then you are going to click on groups and create a group for the item when you are done press save then we are gonna go back to add an, a barcode for the item so we're gonna go to the general tab and click on the first left block of the barcode and scan the barcode that is on the item it will save automatically so if you go click on edit and check the barcode it should be there then you're going to click save then we're going to add an item without a barcode so you're going to click on new same procedure again so you're going to add it without the barcode so you're going to add item name and you skip the barcode and you're going to change the state of the item then you're going to change your basic measurement if it's liters or if it's just an item you're going to leave it as item you can change your retail price and then you're going to add a group for the item when you are done then you're going to press save and save the whole item that's how you save an item onto your database